Hello everyone, welcome back. In this section, I am going to show you how to work with CSV files to store data in batch. So let's get into it. So I will just uh, quickly create a directory for that. So let's say batch CSV and let's cd to that and fire up the code editor. Now what we are going to do is we will store data in SV, CSV using a batch script and then uh, later on we will delete data from that and update and do all the crude operation using batch and we will store all the data in the CSV file. So let's uh, get into it. So I will create a file let's say add.bat. You might already know that we can call the batch script file like bat as well as cmd. So if I type cmd as you can see the uh, icon is the same. So I will type add.bat and this we will use this to store data. Uh, to a CSV file. Now the, f the first thing I think and most of the batch script you will see the uh, at echo off. What this will do is uh, this will allow you to run commands without prompting that to a CM CMD. So let's say if I type just uh, dir and save the file in uh, let's execute that. So here we have the dot bat file. So the dot bat file you can directly uh, just type the name and hit enter everywhere we can execute that. Now here you see as I uh, executed that it uh, automatically executes these uh, commands. I use the echo off uh, due to which I'm, I'm not seeing those commands. So now if I change this to on and execute the same script as you can see we uh, it displays those commands in the terminal while executing them. And before this it will not uh, it was not displaying those commands to the terminal and uh, printing all the results of those. So that's why you will have to use the echo off most of the time. Now the, in this file we will store the data to a CSV file. So now let's uh, create a CSV file first. So uh, in batch or in CMD you can uh, create file using call. You can type or you can use call command as well as type. And there are, you can use echo as well. But let's uh, use uh, call to create a file. Let's say let's call that uh, data.csv. And now the file will be created which is right here. So first we will create uh, we created the data.csv file uh, so we will insert data to that. Now you can automate this uh, in the batch script as well. So like uh, if I copy and paste the same command in the script it will create the data.csv file. Now let's write some data to that. So the csv file you might already know that the data is uh, the first row is considered the headers. So let's say we want to store the uh, records like uh, and this symbol it is uh, a comment so uh, in batch file this at frame is considered a uh, uh, comment so this will be not executed so if you press control and forward slash it will be it will make a comment line for you so now what I want to show in the data.csv file is that let's say uh, name let's say I'm doing some storing some data about students or employees so now uh, let's say I want to store the name as well as age and then let's say address and the CSV files are comma separated values. Uh, the CSV stands for comma separated values. So uh, in this CSV file, we will store the name, age, and address of our employee. We can say as well as uh, you can consider student as well. So now let's write the first. Uh, the first line, as I said, the first line will be considered the header. So now let's write the first line. And it's that simple. We will just uh, copy these to echo. And then we will write this to uh, the top of that file so the file which is data.csv now i uh, write this uh, data.csv uh, just the uh, name we can store this in a, in a variable as well so now let's execute it and, uh, and let's see if we uh, can successfully store this data into data.csv file as you can see it's currently empty so now if i save this and execute that uh, add.bat file now nothing happened here well if I go to data.csv, as you can see, we have that data, but we don't like to add the uh, codes, so I will remove that. The echo just automatically um, add that code to, to the to the to the headers. So let's execute that again and see if yeah, as you can see now we uh, we have a clean headers. Now we can add other data to this cloud. Let's uh, let's add some records to this. But report that uh, as I said, uh, we will uh, use variable to um, store that file name so let's call it uh, let's create a variable and let's call it uh, csv file csv underscore file we can use underscore in the in the variable name so let's call it data.csv and now here we will uh, assign or store this data in this variable so i can directly uh, use double person signs and in the middle of that i will pause the variable name this is how you can call 
uh, variables in batch. So if I save this and execute the same command again and check out the uh, CSV file, as you can see, we have the same uh, headers that we added before. So now we are using variable. So now we will use just call this variable and we will uh, insert data to it. So let's do it now. Again, copy the same thing. And now let's say I want to store the data. Let's say the, mm, the employee name or the student name is Bob. And now the age is, uh, let's say, uh, 30. And the address is XYZ and ABC and stuff like that. Now, if I execute this and see the data.csv, here as you can see, we have only the data. So in order to append data to a CSV file or to any file in batch, or uh, this is the case as well uh, in the bash as well. So you will have to use uh, double angles, right angles. And if you just want to add data to that, uh, remove all the data and add uh, this data only to that file, you will have to use the um, single uh, right angle. And if you want to append data, you can use the double angles. So now if I save this and execute the script again, and hopefully we will have the records. So now I can preview this. Here we have the preview option. Here you can see we have the data. So name as an address and these are the records currently. Now the same, now we can add any uh, record to this, like if I copy paste and I can change the values and it will automatically add that data. So if I execute the same script again, and check as you can see we have the data right here so if i preview this uh, csv file it's going to display that data right here so that's how you can add data that was pretty simple now now let's say uh, let, we can ask users to enter these uh, data and we will after that we will store that data to the file so now let's do that so in order to do that i will uh, set variables for that so now let's say set now to get this will be like uh, we are getting command line parameters so now uh, to do that, we will uh, have to use a set type fee, and then let's say I want to assign that to a name variable, and here I will pass the string. So let's say uh, enter employee name, and then the same thing for age. So age and employee age, and then the address, and enter employee address. And I will save the variables now. So uh, to use the variables. You have, you have to use uh, double impersonal signs. So the name as well as the age and the address. So double persons and address. Now what this is going to do is uh, it will ask us to um, uh, enter these details and after that we'll also store that in the CSV file. So now if I execute the same script again, as you can see it's asked to enter the employee name. Let's uh, enter ABC and age will say 44 and address xyz and if i go back to the csv file here we have the data and we can preview that as well so that's how you can add data and uh, ask user to enter the data that is required to to be stored in the csv file